Welcome back to this uh, tutorial series on AutoCAD 2008. Uh, in the next few tutorials, we're going to go into some of the commands that make AutoCAD so powerful. We're going to go over to the Move command, we're going to go over the Copy and Rotating commands, Scaling objects, Mirroring objects, and, and uh, a few more. So let's go ahead and start off by using or working with the Move command. But before we get started, let's make sure that our screens are set up the same. Remember, we're going to go to the uh, Tools pull-down menu, go to Workspaces, slide over and click on AutoCAD at Classic. Once you do that, you should get a screen that looks much like mine. If you have any extra toolbars that pop up in your drawing window, remember you can close those by just clicking on the X in the top right hand corner. And then we'll have a clean screen. Now let's start off with the move command. I'm going to draw a circle here. And let's say that I want to move this circle from the location where it's at right now to somewhere over here. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my move command. Remember when we, in AutoCAD, uh, typically we'll have a few different places where we can start or, or, or begin our commands. Uh, one place is in the pull-down menus. Um, if I wanted to use the move command, I can go to my modify pull-down menu, go down to move. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can come over here and click on my move button or I can just type in the letter M and hit enter and it's going to start my move command and I know that because down here on my command line it says move and then it's asking me of course to select objects when you start the move command the first thing as you can see that it's going to ask you to do is select the objects that you want to move okay in this case I only have one object and I'm just going to use my little pick box I'm going to roll over my object the outside of my circle I'm going to pick it Okay. Now that I'm finished selecting objects, remember when AutoCAD is asking you to select objects, you have to tell it when you're finished because it doesn't know whether you're only selecting one object or ten objects. So if I'm only selecting one object, it's going to ask me to continue to select objects until I hit my enter button on my keyboard or I hit my middle finger mouse button. Okay. So I'm going to hit my middle finger mouse button. Now it knows that I'm finished selecting objects. The next thing that it's going to ask me for is to specify the base point of my move. Now watch real close because this is this tricks people um, in the very beginning, but if you pay real close attention you'll see exactly what it's doing. The base point, if I want to move my object from the center of this circle over to a location over here, I could just pick some place in the center of my circle not being real accurate accurate and I'm just going to hit my pick button now what it's done is it's it's picked up on the location where I've selected okay and I just picked a spot somewhere in the middle of my circle now I'm going to get sort of a rubber banding feature here and AutoCAD is now asking me for you'll see down here specify the second point it's asking me for the second point in other words, where do I want to move this object to or what's my second point I'm going to move my object over to here and I'm going to pick with my pick button and AutoCAD's move my object. Now, something you need to note about that base point that it's asking you for, um, it doesn't have to be on the object, in the object, or anything like that. That base point can be, you know, com totally relative to something else. For example, let's say I've got a couple of lines here. Oops. draw a couple of lines. I'm going to copy them over here. And then let's say that this circle was uh, at the top of the letter I. Okay. If I wanted to make a, or if I wanted to move this circle to the exact same position above this line as it is to this line, well instead of using over here somewhere as the base point, what I can do is I can use maybe the end point of this line as a reference. So let's say I start my move command, select my object, hit enter to tell AutoCAD that I'm finished selecting objects. Now it's asking me for a base point. Well I'm going to use, and I'm not going to pick the exact end point, not, not right now at least. I'm just going to say, okay, well I want it to move from the end point of this line, excuse me, my mouse is acting up, I want it to move from the end point of this line to the end point of this line. Well, now that it's asking me for my base point, I'm going to just pick here. Now I'm going to slide over 
Notice where my object is in relation to my crosshair. It's still in that exact same relation as it was here. So I'm going to move over here to my second line and go near the end point of that line and pick again. And now I've moved it. Okay? Let me do that again. This time I'm going to start my move command, select my object. This time I'm going to pick a point somewhere up here. It doesn't really matter, just somewhere up here. Notice that the object stays um, in the exact same relation to that pick point, okay, no matter where I move it on the screen. So it's more of a, it's not a, you know, when it's asking for a, a base point, it's not really asking you for a base point on the object, like I said a minute ago. It's really just asking you for a point, and then it's going to, it's going to remember where that point is in relation to the object that you're moving, and it's going to stay in that same relationship as you move it around your screen. So what this is really good for is, let's say I do have an object, this circle, that's exactly on top of this line, and then I have this line over here, and I want to move this object from the top of this line to the top of this line. Well, I'm going to start my move command, select my object, and remember when we talked about using our object snaps. Well, I'm going to hit my Oops, excuse me. I'm going to hit my shift and my right mouse button. I'm going to slide down to endpoint. Use my endpoint object snap. Now I'm going to pick, it's asking me for my base point, remember. I'm going to pick the endpoint of this line and move it to the endpoint of this line. Now I know that it's exactly in the same spot as it was in relation to this line. Okay, So that's the move command. The copy command and, and a lot of these other commands are going to be very similar. AutoCAD is going to ask you to select the object and it's going to ask you for some base points. As always, if you're ever getting confused as to what AutoCAD is asking for, be sure to look at your command line. It's always going to tell you. I'm going to start my move command again. AutoCAD's asking me to select my objects. I selected the first one. Am I finished selecting objects? Sure. I'm finished. Now it's asking me for my base point. I'm going to pick, uh, I'll just pick right here. Now down here on my command line, AutoCAD is asking me to specify my second point. And I'll pick somewhere over here. Okay. Now it works exactly the same way if you've got multiple objects. Okay. Start my move command by typing in the letter M and then hitting enter. AutoCAD is asking me to select objects. This time I'm going to select a couple of objects here and then I'm going to use my window to command to select these objects. When I'm finished selecting my objects, this time I selected four objects. When I'm finished selecting my objects, I'm going to hit enter. AutoCAD is going to ask me for a base point. Base point can be anywhere. Remember, it can be anywhere on my screen. This time I'm going to put my base point right here between these two circles. Pick. Now I'm moving these objects somewhere else on my screen. And I'm going to put them right there. Pick again. Okay. I'll show you one more where I'm using my object snaps. Let's say I want to move this circle to the exact center of that circle. Start my move command. Select my object. Hit enter to tell AutoCAD I'm finished selecting objects. Asking me for my base point. I'm going to hit my shift button and my uh, middle finger mouse button, go down to where it says center, use my center point object snap. So I've picked that. Now I've just defined my first point. Now my second point, I want it to go to the center of this circle. So again, when it's asking me for my second point, <coughs> go down and tell it center again, center point object snap. Asking me for the center of, and I'm going to go over here and pick this circle. And boom, I've moved it to the exact center of that circle. Okay, so that's the move command. <clears throat> Next, we're going to get into the copy command, and um, um, then we'll get into the rotating command. So until the next tutorial, I appreciate it. Look forward to talking to you soon.